Well, we had the years, uh, two years before COVID, and then COVID hit, obviously, and then it shut us, uh, it shut us down for a while. Um, we kind of lost momentum right after COVID because schools, you know, were kind of all wonky there. But um, uh, finally got everything back in motion and had enough boys to fill a team again, and we went ahead and come on out and had a team this year. So they're young guys, but we had enough to fill a team. Okay, so after COVID hit, we had our, our, our school is a small school anyway because it's a 1A school. Um, our class sizes were just small, so there was just a lot of um, a lot of the boys had graduated, and then the boys coming up, we didn't have large classes that had enough boys to fill a full team. So what ended up happening was is we had to wait for that cycle of classes to come around that had enough boys to fill, and it just happened to be that this was the year it happened in. We only have 13 boys total, so it's it's going to be a rough year for us because with the pitch counts and uh, with the boys being all freshmen and sophomores, it's it's going to be a rough year for us, but we'll get through it. And we have some we have a, a massive amount of boys coming up in the the uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade age group. So there, this program will be up for a while. So, um, do, do you not have any juniors or seniors? We got three seniors and one junior is what we got on this team. The rest of these boys are all freshmen and sophomores. So there, so there's like nine, right? Yeah, like nine freshmen and sophomores. Yeah. Um. This year, uh, getting back out, getting you know, getting to play here again. What's this like for these guys in this town? Really, it's fantastic. I you know, I enjoy watching the boys get out. It lets them get outside, and uh, this is a uh, you know, this is America's favorite pastime. And uh, introducing these kids at a young age like this, it lets them lets them, I guess, participate as a team into something that they're going to be able to take with them for the rest of their lives. And by doing that, I mean. They, don't, they, they might not realize it yet, but this is something that they're going to be able to talk about for the rest of their life. So having baseball back in a small town like this, it gives them, uh, it gives the boys that, that don't have a lot to do. So some of these guys might not be basketball players, some of them might not be you know, track stars or whatever, but it gives them a chance to have something else that they can kind of talk about and relate to the other guys with. So baseball is, is a fantastic sport. I love it. I love seeing the guys get out here. Um, I don't know. I just love baseball in general. So and, ha and having these, having this group of boys right here, and their love for the game, they have been so passionate. They've been um, so positive about even having a young team. Only, only a, I think we've only practiced for like three total weeks total, and uh, they just stayed positive and just reacted to everything I've said positively. So it's. I know it's great. It's a it's a great feeling. So whenever we're practicing, we have our track, which is down below, and they have middle school track, which is where the, all the middle school boys are at right now. And we'll be practicing, and you'll see them boys, 8, 10, 12 of these boys lined up on the fence watching these high school boys practice. And um, that, that feeling that I get and these guys are getting knowing that that is our next step coming up and that they're that excited that they don't even care about track anymore that they're watching these boys play they're getting excited about it and they're talking about it that i don't know that 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 now that machine's got to rolling and the seed's been planted and i'm hoping that we can find some time this summer i've talked to bradleyville i've talked you know i'm going to talk to some other local schools uh we're going to see about this summer if we can't get, maybe get a middle school program going and i think once that seed gets planted I think it'll grow. So I'm hoping that, you know, those boys will move on up into high school and they'll be ready and be competitive and we can just stay, stay moving forward.